Okay. The task here is to find the equation of a quadratic with roots at 1 and 5 and the point negative 1, 10. What this means is that we're finding the equation of a quadratic with roots. That means it touches the x-axis when x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 5. And the point negative 1, 10 is also on the quadratic. So our quadratic, when we graph it, its parabola is going to look like this. To start out, we're going to write down the equation with all of the known, in, well, most of the known information. I'm going to say that my quadratic function is equal to some number times x minus 5 times x minus 1. Now here's why this works. We need roots at 1 and 5. That is to say, if the value of x is 5, this whole thing will become 0, bringing us here. And if the value of x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, the whole thing again becomes 0, bringing us here. So if 1 and 5 are the roots, that means if x is 1, or if x is 5, then the entire function has a value of 0, bringing the y value down to 0. In addition to that, the point negative 1, 10 is on the parabola. So the second equation I can write in Lagrange notation is that when I evaluate my function at negative 1, it's equal to 10. Now all we need to do is put these two equations together. If f at x is equal to some number times x minus 5 times x minus 1, then that means that f at negative 1 is a minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 1. f at negative 1 is 10, and this is negative 6 times minus 2 is negative 12, and all that's multiplied by a. So a is negative 10 over 12. Finally, I can write out the entire function. as negative 10 over 12, which, by the way, is negative 5 over 6. Negative 5 over 6 times x minus 5 times x minus 1. Before we expand that out and simplify it to put it in standard form, I just want to recap exactly what it is we've done. We're finding an equation of a quadratic with roots at 1 and 5 and this point. So here's my root at 1, my root at 5, and this point. I'm writing down the equation in this form. This indicates a root at 5, and this indicates a root at 1, because if x is equal to 5, we have 5 minus 5 is 0, making the whole thing 0, bringing the y value to 0, putting us on the x-axis here. Likewise, if x is equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, bringing the whole thing down to 0, putting us here. I have an a in here. The reason why I have an a is there are many quadratic functions with these two roots. There's this steep one. There's this shallow one. There's this inverted one. The fact that this value is currently unknown allows for the fact that it could be any one of these quadratics that have roots at 1 and 5. However, there's only one such quadratic that goes through this point, negative 1, 10. I'm going to use that value to find a, and then when I plug a's value into this, that's my equation. So I use the value when x is negative 1, y is 10, plug that into my equation, 
and rearrange things to get A by itself. Now that I have A's value, I can put it back into my original writing down of the function with the required roots to get the full quadratic. Now we can expand this out. Now, all I did here was I used FOIL, first, outside, inside, last, to expand this out here. And then I multiplied this coefficient by each of those terms to get the final answer in standard form.